Welcome to the Core Getting Started collection. In this video, we will show you the resources available to find all the details of the Core Schema. The Core Schema is the implementation of the System Definition Language. Let's take a look at a subset of the schema, how to view the schema and its details, how to display definitions of classes and attributes when modeling, and outputting a schema definition report. This diagram illustrates a subset of the basic schema, showing some of the primary systems engineering classes and relationships between them. It's important to note the interconnected nature of the schema. It's easy to fall into the trap of viewing your model from the top down, losing sight of data related at lower levels. Each class in the schema has been defined and documented for you. You can easily view this definition. Just expand the schema branch in the project pane, then click Classes. You'll then have a list of all classes and can select one to view its complete definition. To view the properties of attributes, parameters, or relations, simply right-click on the item of interest, then click Attribute Properties. Here, you'll also find diagrams in which you can view the relations between this class and other classes. Some are rather dense. Note that you can use the diagram manipulation tools to rearrange, elide, and otherwise organize the view. In the Facilities section of the schema, there are several matrices that you'll find helpful. Facilities are a subset of classes that enable you to focus on a particular area of interest within the larger schema. Let's take a look at the Systems Engineering facility. The Attribute matrix lists each attribute with its usage in each class. The Relation matrix helps to find which classes are valid for a particular relationship. The Attribute Relationship matrix details relationship attributes and the relations for which they are viewed. If you are new to using Core, it may be helpful to turn on the Display Definitions feature. Turning this on will allow you to hover over a class or attribute to view its schema description. To do this, click Tools, User Preferences. Add a checkmark next to Display Definitions, then click OK. Now, when I select a class, it shows the description of that class. If I hover over an attribute, I see the definition of that attribute. This is helpful for quick information while you are modeling. If you would like a complete reference, we have provided a schema definition report that you can generate, distribute, or even print. To run this report, click the Run Script icon, then select the Schema Definition Report. To get the full schema, I'll select All Classes. I have options to output with or without attributes, to include parameters, and to include relationships. I'll leave all at the default setting. Finally, I'll designate a file name and save location. The document opens automatically when it's ready, providing a complete text-based definition of my schema. This concludes the overview of resources for learning the core schema. To learn more about using core, go back to our screencast page and view the rest of the Getting Started collection.